All right, so this controller, right? Now, first I'm gonna start like with the, the basic stuff. Like, all right, as you see, there's like no start button on the front. Like this thing right here is where you change between uh, the Xbox One and 360. Like so, you put on the right side, it's Xbox One. The left side is, is 360. So obviously, I have it on, you know, the other side, which is well, damn. It's not even making out the the, the the letters. Well, anyway, it's on the 360 side because I'm on 360. Then, um, like the D-pad, this is probably like one of the best D-pads I've ever like touched, as far as like you know, uh, third-party controllers. Like the Xbox One controller is terrible. We know the 360 controllers pet is like well, his D-pad sucks. Um, I don't too much like the PS4 controller, but I know a lot of people do. But it feels like a little a step up from the PS4 controller. Uh, I know people like the PS3's D-pad. Um, I personally think that Xbox S-pad has like one of the best D-pads, and this feels like the S-pad to me. Um, I think I, if I were to rate the D-pad, I would give it like an A. You know, out of a scale from like you know F to S, I would give this an A. This D-pad, maybe an, S, an A plus. Um, the only thing that I, I feel is weird about this D-pad is when, like, I'm walking back and forward like this. Hold on, I'll show you on the, uh, the thing. When I'm walk, walking back and forward, and say I'm holding forward or holding back, and I go to pr just press up, but I'm already, like, kind of holding forward. But, all right, basically, I'm holding forward, and I press up. If I press up while I'm still holding forward a little bit, the character will, like, flip over or will jump forward or jump back even though I'm just pressing up. So you have to make sure you go back to neutral and then press up. So like that's something you have to think about while you're playing and honestly I don't want to have to think about my inputs like something as simple as that because that, that makes me play slower because I'm thinking about my inputs instead of it just being you know very uh you know fluid. But that's the only problem I have with the d-pad right now is that if I'm walking back and forward and I'm trying to avoid projectiles on reaction someone jumps at me and I'm holding forward you know, and I'm jumping, I'll get a random jump forward, even though I'm not pressing up forward. But, like, I think it's something to do with, like, however they model the D-pad. But, because I'm, I'm really not jumping forward when I when I do that. I am actually just holding forward, and then I press up. I'm not holding up forward. Um, that's the only problem I have. That's actually, for me, to be honest with you, like, for tournaments, that's, that's a big issue, because that's kind of see like, as you see, like, I'll get most of the time, you know, if I'm not already holding forward, if I release holding forward, I won't get it. But if I'm holding forward and I pr try to press up, it happens. So you have to keep that in mind or just get used to it. It's something to get used to. The D-pad is still really good. As you saw earlier, I was doing a lot of, like, you know, dash cancels and gas blasts and stuff. And, like, down three. Like, I can move just fine. But it's just, like, when it gets to, like, the gritty of doing, like, you know, basic you know, maneuvering, that's when it becomes an issue. But, just make sure you go to neutral, like, just take, you know, keep in mind that you have to, you can't be holding forward and then press up. You have to let go for a second and then press up. That's the biggest thing. Um, the buttons, these buttons, they have micro switches in them, so what that means is, you know, well, honestly, it feels really good because the buttons uh well the buttons basically um are shit I'm trying to tell you okay buttons are micro switches so when you press the button it's not like it's pressing into like a rubber piece it's a switch that that clicks or sets off when you press the button so i think that means like you know you don't have to worry about like the rubber piece like going bad or something so your buttons are probably last for a long time Unless you end up like sticking them some way by spilling some juice or something inside of it. Other than that, I think the buttons will probably last a long while. Also, the buttons are actually uh, really low as far as in comparison to like the the D-pad. As you see, it's like um like the buttons aren't like really high or anything. So like say you were to slide your finger, you can easily like slide back and forth without your finger, I mean your thumb or your finger getting stuck in the ridges because just the way that the the texture is made for the the buttons and also the buttons are like pretty close together but what I found because the buttons are like close together like that 
it becomes an issue. So, like, if you want to play like this or something, then, like, it's kind of troublesome to get your finger between, like, I don't know, it depends on the person. Like, me, I feel I need more space in between my buttons so I can, like, press them, like, kind of like a stick. But since the buttons are so close, it's hard for me to, like, move my fingers and stuff. But for other people, it might be easier. But I play like this. Doesn't matter, like, what I play on. But I always play like this. So, I mean, I can't hit the buttons, no problem. But my issue, because I'm, this is a personal issue. This may not apply to you. But when I'm playing games, I actually very gently tap my buttons or press my buttons. I don't press them, like, really hard or anything. That This will probably benefit people who press their buttons hard because of micro switches. But because of micro switches, like, I barely press my button and it won't happen. Like, say, like, um, like, watch, check this out. Like, I'm barely, like, tapping it. Like, and I'm not pressing it hard to activate the micro switch. See, me, I don't want that. I want it to be more sensitive. But that's actually a good thing for everyone else that probably needs this because they want to be able to, like, you know, press the button real hard. And I don't know why there's just delay now. But, anyway. Um... The triggers are actually really good. Um, and also up here, up top, the start button and the back button are up top. So you don't have to worry about pressing the start button or anything while you're playing. Uh, I mean, unless you like hit the Xbox button, but the Xbox button is actually like really thin in comparison to the rest of the buttons. It's like inside, so it's not like ex like very exposed. You have to actually like really go ahead and touch it. Like if you're mashing or something, I mean, you shouldn't hit it. I mean, you just stupid and you just press this for some reason. But more than likely, because the way I have this like set up to where this is um like as you see the pad like this is longer than this one. So what you do is you like set that on your shit. Yeah, you say on your your lap and you can play it like an arcade stick kind of a little bit. That's why they have that like that. Like me, I'm just gonna hold it like this though, because I'm weird, like a Sega Saturn controller. Also, controller is actually really, um, is really light, and the back kind of has padding, so it really feels nice in your hands. It feels like um, I'm trying to think what controller or what what padding to compare. It feels like a. I want to say velour because I do have velour pants on, which is kind of weird. But that that's it's really comfortable to hold. It's not I don't know, it's not gonna be hard on anyone's hands. Maybe you have like really big hands, I don't know. But it feels really comfortable to hold. Like I don't feel like I'm straining any of my fingers or anything like that. Um, I don't feel like my wrist is being strained. So that's good. And also the start button and the back button being up here is really convenient. So you know, you, you, it doesn't get in the way of you know, your hand space. And also the your thumb is like really far away from the, well the D-pad is really far away from this button so you have to worry about this hitting that any any time unless you are like really retarded and you go over here for no reason but yeah so and it's wired too, it's not wireless so you don't have to worry about your controller getting unplugged or dying or something like that and it's, it's, it's perfect for tournaments that's how I feel this this controller feels like the Sega Saturn controller, except for this top row buttons is just as big as the bottom row buttons. I think it's really solid uh, for anybody who does want to play on the Xbox One controller, thank God, or the PS4 controller. I think this is a solid pickup. I'm glad that PDP sent me one so I could test it out and review it for you guys. And I think it's really good. I can see myself using it in the future as well. Um, unfortunately, I don't have MKX to test this on, but you know I do have Mortal Kombat and you know Mortal Kombat 9, whatever, to test it. But I put this through the Cabal test, and the Cabal test where I do dash cancels and all that shit it tells me that it's good to go. And like one thing, like when you're doing. Uh, this string, his back one two one string, like you know how you like slide back and forth like that. It's so easy because the buttons are so like you know thin as far as 
well they're they're like set lower and they're actually um really smooth too so you just you know slide your finger back and or your thumb back and forth and without any problem so i thought that was good i would not be using a, a regular controller i'm sorry i can't I can't. I'm not. I'm not using the Xbox One controller, man. I, I I tried to play a Killer Instinct on it, and I was just it just frustrated me all the time. It does it have a mic port? Um. Actually, no. It does not have a mic port. I did not factor that in. I do not see a mic port. Nope. It's just holes for the screws. There's no mic port. But don't we have wireless mics now with next gen? Uh, the pad release is, I think, April 1st. So, everybody, you can probably go to, like, your local GameStop or, you know, pre-order on Amazon or PDP site or GameStop and you can get it. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, uh, I'm going to be uploading the archive to YouTube. But, thank you all for watching. I uh, hope this helped you guys out in deciding if you want to get the controller or not. Um, I think it's a solid picture. I mean, a solid pick. So, thanks guys, and make sure you hit that follow button. I'm going to sign out, and I'll be back with, uh, you know, next combat cast or whatnot. Especially when MKX is, is on, I'm going to be streaming that every day. And my schedule for MKX, when I, streaming, because I haven't had a schedule, my MKX streaming schedule will be from, well, 4 o'clock I feel like is the best time to stream so I'm going to stream at 4 o'clock to about like 9 o'clock every night and then I will come back later on at night at about 11 or 12 a.m. and stream to maybe about 3 a.m. and select days or days where I'm you know I'm like hey you know what I'm, I'm awake enough let me stream I'll stream like you know at noon or 11 a.m. but I'll probably update my stream schedule but for now that's what it is And the first thing I'm going to do when I get home is stream, uh, story mode. So, tune in for that. Alright, guys. Also, the controller, I believe, costs $50. So, you know, save up about.